The police group copped the trophy at the Forest Side football tournament hosted at the New Amsterdam Secondary School's gymnasium yesterday. More in this report. Four teams participated in a football tournament organized by 17-year-old Raquan Williams, a grade 12 physical education student of the New Amsterdam Secondary School. This event was hosted at the school's gymnasium yesterday, Sunday, March 13, 2022, and saw energetic head-to-head -head competition from all of the teams involved. Speaking with a young man, he explained why this event was planned and executed. For my SBA for physical education, I have to do a tournament where we host either teams from the various schools in New Amsterdam or our community teams. I decided to host community teams mainly because it is easier in this COVID with the COVID protocols and it is much more efficient, like you have much more turnout and support. And football was a sport, well it wasn't really chosen because a survey was carried out and in the survey various respondents stated that they prefer football because more persons are willing to play football and you have more support, like this is the main thing, support is a big man when planning a tournament. Williams also explained there are four teams. The four teams are Unruly Gang, Police, Shatters and Chunks. It's four side games, six persons on the team and two subbing, two subs. Each team play three games, like it's a wrong robin tournament, so each person, each team play each team, so it's six games in total. The first game saw Chunks playing against the police team and that game yielded a score nil to one. Game two saw Top Shatters playing against Unruly with a score three to nil. Game three saw Chunks playing against Top Shatters nil to two. In game four, the Unruly team played against the police team nil to one. Game five, Police versus Top Shatters was a stiff competition, but neither team was able to score a goal. And game six was played between the Chunks and the Unruly team with a score of 1-5. to five. Williams highlighted some of the prizes that were up for grabs. So the prizes that will be awarded are the first place trophy to the winning team, the second place trophy, then now have the MVP days to the play with like the most valuable play in the finals. Then we have the most goals trophy or the golden boot as we know it as. So the play with the most goals throughout the tournament. And the first place team will be awarded medals. He also recognized the contributions of the Barbies Football Association in this tournament. Barbies Football Association was the main donor to this. You know, they provide the footballs and this showed support to the tournament and also J Supermarket. They donated, they donated something towards keeping the players hydrated throughout the tournament. The finals was played between the police team and top shutters with a score of 1-0. to nil. The police team walked away with a tournament trophy. Rickwan continued by saying, It's been a while since I had a football tournament, so having the experience, they get to like be motivated to keep training and keep going forward in their football career. Uh, the, main, the main challenge is COVID, you know, I couldn't get to get persons to come and watch it. Like, I couldn't do tickets and so just had to get the competition. The MVP, Paul Duggan, was a part of the police team and he received a trophy. Keon Williams was also presented with a trophy since he scored the most goals during the tournament. Narima Ali, Channel 8 Sport.